Comedy Central News coming at you live on tape. And by live, we mean pre-recorded and edited. And by tape, we mean anything we can find. CCN. Because Dutch news is news too. Greg Shapiro, Comedy Central News. Our top story. As violence continues in Burma or Myanmar, the ruling military junta is finding it difficult to suppress video images being sent out of the country by mobile phones. Hey, which one of you is responsible for sending images with your mobile phone? <laughs> Luckily, they won't suppress us, as we have the freedom of speech, and we... Greg Shapiro? Yeah? I'm from Comedy Central. The network doesn't want you making any more jokes about Burma. Oh, so, censorship, huh? No, it's just that it's much too serious a subject to make jokes about. Well, obviously, you weren't at the Lachia Fabrik last Saturday. So, uh, now you got these Buddhist monks protesting. I mean, uh, how does a Buddhist monk go to protest, you know? One more and you'll get censored. You guys saw that, right? Good news today, uh, former U.S. President Bill Clinton is in Rotterdam to give a speech on globalization and to take a tour of the city. His tour of Rotterdam began with a four-course lunch at Brazzo, followed by a four-course dessert at the Harmonie, and wrapping up with a seven-course dinner at the Svethil. Asked what he thought about restaurant the Svethil, Clinton responded, Svethil? I'm sorry, I thought it was called Sweathole. I don't even know what Sweathole means, but that sounds like my kind of menu. <laughs> and in other news, UN envoy Ibrahim Gambari was in Burma where they... What? Oh, man. Huh. I guess they weren't kidding. All right. All right. <laughs> Take that, Comedy Central. You can't edit this joke. <laughs> Ibrahim Gambari of the United Nations was in Burma hoping to negotiate a peaceful end to the conflict there. Hey, buddy, good luck. You know who couldn't find a peaceful solution to this conflict yet? Buddhist monks! <laughs> <clears throat> and now, back in Utrecht, it's the never-suppressible Lauren Flans. Lauren? Thanks, Greg. I'm at a red carpet premiere for the Nederlands Film Festival, and I have already made a new friend. And the best part is, she has the same job I do. Okay, Great. So if you talk, you can cross okay. there, okay? Okay, yeah. As well. And I keep mine. This is like there. math. Yeah. Well, uh, Mirla's been helping me to know who these Dutch celebrities are. Monique, Monique, Monique. I heard that woman say that your name is Monique. That's right. Mirla has a show on MTV. I have a show on Comedy Central. If we moved in together and we're roommates and one of us is really clean and the other one was really messy, it would be hilarious. I'm just saying, Network. I'm just saying. We have just discovered that the lead in the movie is coming down the red carpet right now. Sylvia is her yeah. name? Sylvia! This is going to be great. I'm going to get her over here. Teenagers respond really well to me. Sylvia! Sylvia, your dress is undone in the back. Sylvia did not want to talk to me. I think she was intimidated, which is fair because if given the chance, I would steal a role from her, and I fully intend to. So, Sylvia, if you're watching this right now, watch your back because you're not going to be 17 forever. You know what I'm saying? I was 17 once. Look at me now. And I don't even smoke. Sylvia! Can I crash at your place? Sometime? Yeah, totally. And Can you bring beer? Four, three. Yeah, okay, I've right. got your number. It was Thanks. so great meeting you. Like, bye. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Have fun. Bye. Miss you. Okay, I'll miss you too. See you later. I cannot remember that girl's name. Thank you, Lauren. Prime Minister Balkanenda is calling for sanctions against Burma, hoping to influence the dictatorship government. Uh. Sanctions would not have any immediate effect. Balkanenda stated, Those generals have mothers with birthdays, and just when they want a beautiful bouquet of tulips, then they will know the power of Dutch sanctions. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Muslim women wishing to restore their virginity are getting help at the UMC Utrecht, which will offer a suppository that creates the impression a woman is bleeding in much the same way as when the hymen is broken. Here to comment is our resident woman, Andiel Sudik. Andiel! Thanks, Greg. Ever the involved reporter, I decided to do some field work and headed down to Utrecht to not just restore my virginity, but also to restore my honor via suppository. Did you know that of the women who bleed the first time they have sex, the amount of blood varies greatly? The guys in Utrecht knew, so the suppositories come in three different sizes, dribble, medium flow, and tsunami. I decided not to get greedy my first time out and went with medium flow. And I swear, as I wedged that surprisingly large plastic-coated suppository up into me, I could literally feel all the drunken, dirty, unprotected sex I've been having wash away, and then was off to lose it for the first time again. And the blood was so realistic, red mucus-like discharge that you have to clean off your sheets in shame. Now, I of course assume that they use the same stuff that they use in the movies, a mixture of corn syrup, flour, and food coloring. But after some serious scientific testing, I can assure you that it did not take Taste like corn syrup. It's got all the pros of reconstructive surgery without that annoying vaginal tightening. You know, loose and bloody, just the way guys want their virgin brides. I can't wait to lose it again. Uh, and, you know, I'm sorry. We are talking about a procedure for religious purposes, uh, primarily for Muslims. Yeah, but you can also use it to do this. Oh, 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 oh. It's my hymen. And he'll suit it. In entertainment news, a man who tried to extort over a million dollars from Tom Cruise was found dead on Saturday. The death was ruled a suicide, and Tom Cruise's lawyer made the unsolicited statement, Cruise is not personally involved as he is in Germany shooting a film. I mean, in order to pull something like this off, someone would have to have pilot experience, understanding of covert operations, and be a crazy Scientologist. Oh, great. Now I can't make jokes about Scientology either. Fine. We'll see you tomorrow at 8, 11, and 1. But I guess I won't be making jokes about Scientology. Crazy. I mean, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Right? He's so crazy. He's married to the worst actress I've ever seen. You know? Y'all believe that, right? I mean, Tom Cruise.